Hello and welcome to another AIC Productions video. Today I wanted to discuss this laptop. So I review a lot of laptops in the less than $250 range and a lot of times they have a lot of good qualities about them and they're fairly good value for the money but I have been finding more and more often that you can get a much better deal if you're willing to buy something that is used. And that's what this laptop is. This is a Lenovo ThinkPad X131E. It is a Core i3, it's a third gen, let me bring that up here really quick. So it is a, oh, sorry for the glare, a Core i3-3227U processor. I have upgraded it to 8 gigs of RAM. I have an SSD coming. Uh, it is showing up after the laptop showed up. I just picked this one up. It literally arrived today a few hours ago. Now this is actually my second one of these that I've purchased. And why have I purchased two? Well. I have four kids and three of which are now in school. My oldest is entering third grade. My second oldest is entering first grade. My youngest, there's my third is in preschool. My youngest is only two and a half and she is at home with her mother still. But my kids are using applications for school. They're learning to type and they have a very similar computer to this at school. And so I thought I'd pick one up to have at home so they would have a familiar computer from school to home to use. Uh, I know for me at least it's very, um, I can switch between computers very easily and type on them because I'm a touch typist and keyboards for the most part are similar but when you're learning to type it is very advantageous to be typing on the same keyboard. So I picked one up for $105 and when I got it, it is just same condition as this one is. The touchpad, as you can see, has no signs of use. The keyboard, especially like right here where you would expect when somebody hits a spacebar, a thumb print or a, a wear mark from a thumb, none of the keys, the home row keys, they have a little bit of signs of use just for me using it today. But other than that, they are perfect. There is no signs of wear on the wrist pad. There was a sticker that had the corner peeled up, so I peeled it off because that was annoying me but no signs of use. The screen, obviously with the screen on, it's kind of hard to see. No dead pixels, no scratches, no fingerprints, nothing on the screen to show any kind of use on it. The only thing that this computer had when I bought it, or when it showed up today, was just a couple of minor scratches on the lid. And I have a feeling that is more from these just being stored, stacked on each other, than from any actual use. Now this did come, and I'll be asleep here, this particular laptop has this big thick bumper around it because these are meant for schools. The E uh, designation stands for education um, and so it is meant for being in schools. That light on the back uh, can actually be, you can install a program and have it change colors like if somebody's on the internet or um, playing games or something. You have it uh, light different colors depending on what application uh, the child is using which is not a function I've bothered with because my kids are at home and, and they're only allowed to do certain things on the computer and we monitor that because again my oldest is only eight and they need to be watched when um, on the computer anyways uh, yeah it is an excellent excellent value the other great thing about this computer is that it's open right now just so I could show you is this computer is very easily upgradable here's the back panel it's held on by just three screws and a couple clips. And when you take that off, it gives you access to the replaceable two and a half inch drive. I have, like I said, an SSD coming. So I'm gonna put an SSD in here to replace the spinning drive uh, for performance, but mostly because I have kids and kids are kind of hard on computers and the spinning drives can be easily damaged and the SSDs not so much. I've already, like I said, upgraded it with an additional four gigs. It came with one stick of memory I've upgraded to eight gigs of memory. 
It also has a slot for an SSD. It does have wireless N and Bluetooth 4.0, so it has very good connectivity. Let's go ahead and put this panel on. I'll show you how easy this is. It just slots in there in the back. And then we take the screwdriver and just tighten these three screws. The screen on this is excellent. It is a one, excuse me, a 1366 by 768 resolution. It's 11.6 inch screen, and that resolution seems to be just fine on this type of laptop. It does have speakers that are excellent. They're, they get nice and loud and are fairly clear. You know, it's not the best media PC in the world, but you know, I bought this for my children. I am not using it to do multimedia presentations. So I'm going to open this back up here again. It really needs two hands. So, I did a performance test on it. Uh, two of them actually. One before I upgraded the memory, and I only upgraded the memory, and one after. Those are the results after. Let me show you the list. Now I've posted this list before. I, I have shared this list and I'll post it in the link in this video. But you can see the yellow lines are for all the same computer. Um, if I do a computer multiple, multiple times, I will mark it the same color. So I haven't done it yet for this one. But uh, you'll see right here the two ThinkPad X131Es. And so before the upgrade, those are the Mark, uh, marks so upgrading the memory had a fairly good sorry I'm trying to get that glare out of there uh, effect on performance it even increased the disk drive speed just because the computer had more room to go now here are some other computers I've reviewed we have the uh, where's the 120s it is line nine so a laptop that costs probably fifty dollars more new is what half as powerful less than half as powerful um, the another one that I did the HP stream 11 Pro which I thought was an excellent value again a, a third as power or half as powerful um, for and that is a two hundred and fifty dollar laptop the uh, line 10 there, the Asus L402W, that's a laptop that I'm working a review up. Once again, not nearly as powerful of a system. Now, its CPU is better than the HP, but it has lower graphics and lower memory speeds. But again, compared to the ThinkPad X131e, which again cost me $105. Uh, with free shipping on eBay and I'll put a link to it in fact I'll show you right now $105 free shipping I'll put a link to this in the description and you know you can add an SSD and this is the one I bought this is exactly the one I bought it's $27 for 120 gig SSD and you don't need a lot of space for a system like this you're not installing a huge media library you're not installing, you know, a huge Steam library. However, this laptop is very capable of gaming, and I will do a gaming performance test on it. What else do you get with this laptop? Well, let's start off with connectivity. Like I said before, you get Bluetooth 4.0. You get a wireless N uh, Wi-Fi, which is not as fast as AC, but it's still a five gigahertz. Um, wireless you get a VGA you get two USB threes you get an Ethernet port which a lot of laptops are going away from having an Ethernet port and that really bothers me because there's just some times where you don't have access to Wi-Fi you need to connect to Ethernet especially if you're transferring files over um, Ethernet's just so much more uh, f so much faster you get a uh, uh, micro, or excuse me, an SD card reader, you get HDMI, you get a USB 2. The reason why that's yellow is you can actually charge a device. Oh, I didn't get that case all the way clipped in. There we go. 
Uh, that, so you can actually uh, power a device off of that. It is a faster charging port than the other USB devices. So if you have like a phone or a tablet, you charge it off of that port uh, because it outputs more, more power. It is cooled by a fan, which means it stays a little bit cooler. It has a six cell uh, battery, so you get about, looks like in my test I get between um, four to seven hours, depending on what I'm doing with the system. That's what my kids usually get with it, because I can charge it and then let them play with it most of the day without having to worry about the cord because they like to trip over the cord. Um, but they can play games. They do a lot of typing games right now and educational. So if you're looking at my reviews, you're looking at some of these systems, this, I can't think of a better value for the money right now, $105 for what is essentially a brand new computer. I bought two of these from the same seller and I'll link to that same seller store. I can't obviously guarantee the quality of all of the ones that he sold. He sold almost a thousand of them so far. And of the two that I purchased at very, so my last one I bought about a month and a half ago, almost two months ago. And then I bought this one and it literally showed up the day I'm making this video. And um, both of them look like and act like brand new computers. And even without upgrading to an SSD or to the eight gigs of memory, uh, excellent performance excellent um, just an excellent computer and really only a reason why I upgraded the memory I just have that laying around from all the different computers I reviewed over the years and the SSD because I have kids and they're hard on computers and I'd rather an SSD than a spinning drive but if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below I'll do my best to answer those but man if you are looking for an inexpensive but powerful computer right here a hundred and five dollars now I do have another computer that you know if you have a little bit bigger budget more closer to two hundred dollars that I would recommend but a hundred and five dollars you cannot beat a hundred and five dollars for this machine um, but yeah thank you for watching I hope you have an amazing day